Hello, everybody. Good to see you back here at the Daily Download. I'm Todd Grossan, sitting in for Doug Bernard. We start today nervously eyeing Hurricane Ike. The hurricane with top winds of 195 kilometers per hour bore down on Cuba Monday after strafing islands in the Bahamas and killing at least 58 people in Haiti. Four storms have hit Haiti in less than a month, killing over 300 people. Ike's projected path now runs the length of Cuba with Havana directly in the crosshairs. Hundreds of thousands of Cubans have been evacuated. As Ike ravages Cuba, it keeps an evil eye on South Florida, where thousands of people have already packed up and headed north. These storms have a mind of their own. There are no rules. So what we have to do is be prepared and be smart and be vigilant and alert and make sure that we're following where these storms are going so that we can adapt, adjust, and survive. Ike follows closely on the heels of Hurricane Gustav and Hurricane Hannah, and right now there are two more storms brewing right where those storms came from, way out in the Atlantic. As of Sunday, the U.S. government has taken control of two large companies that finance much of the U.S. housing market, the biggest such action in U.S. history. The takeover of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac is an emergency move to keep the companies from collapsing under billions of dollars in losses from the downturn in the U.S. housing market. Monday, U.S. stocks opened higher on the news, and Asian markets also jumped. Maybe you can say that uh, the action, I mean, the, yeah, the direct involvement of the U.S. government into the financial market, I mean, the GSE uh, bailout, makes the, uh, uh, mitigated the risk of the global serious recession. That's definitely true. And that's, of course, the uh, same for the Asian economies. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac own or guarantee nearly half the housing loans in the United States. They're private companies chartered by the U.S. Congress to support the housing market. It seems millions of Americans are quite impressed with Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, John McCain's choice as running mate in the race for the White House. It's not just her conservative politics, but her taste in eyewear that's getting all the attention, even from Democrats. I may not totally agree with her political views, but I have to say the glasses make her look very put together, smart, and sophisticated. Smart, sophisticated, how about revolutionary? Like what Jackie Kennedy wore with a pillbox hat, her glasses will be a revolutionary thing to wear. Well, I don't know if they'll work for everybody. And these frames go for over 300 bucks. Maybe with those specs, Palin would have finished first rather than second in the Miss Alaska Beauty Contest back in 1984. Who knows? That's it for now. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again tomorrow.